Okay, everybody, so check this out. This is really fascinating. We have a bunch of pots on the south side of our house where we experiment and put native plants in to see how they can overwinter above ground. So over there we have some copper shouldered oval sedge and some sweet grass and some non-native lavender and some native prairie sage and in here a mix of non-native lemon balm also some of the plant that i'm going to show you here in a minute and i'm going to point this out so notice those that look kind of funky on the right let me move back over here this is a native cactus uh, they typically grow in prairies and in more in the southern western part of the state so here they're in this pot because we definitely are not prairie soils and so this plant that's growing in here with cactus and is just thriving is one we have planted i don't know how many times here and cannot get to grow this is royal catchfly everybody sees pictures of royal catchfly it's got this beautiful red flower you want royal catchfly hummingbirds love it oh la, da, da. okay i'm doing that because it's been super frustrating it, this plant just continues to die here and so this is really what I want you to take home with and what was such a lesson for us is plant the right plants for your space. So Royal Catchfly is not the right plant for us here in North Central Ohio. It is not the right soil. It is not a happy plant and unhappy plants make us unhappy. <laughs> so this is the only Royal Catchfly on the property that is happy. All the ones we put in the earth in the soil have died because it's too wet and not fast draining enough. Now at certain times of the year, it's certainly dry enough, but not at other times. And this plant doesn't wanna have those wet feet. And so in this pot here is pretty much just cactus roots and a little bit of soil, super quick draining. Look how big they are. I would say they are six inches tall, easy seven. This is also Royal Catchfly on the right hand side of that pot that was these both were in the earth and I dug them out because they were so unhappy but now they're in this pot with a lot of potting soil so still too heavy too wet and they are not happy so what would we plant here instead and what has actually come in on its own in most places in the soil cardinal flower so that is lobelia cardinalis Royal catchfly is Silene regia. If you are a dry, sandy site with prairie soils, you're gonna do great with this royal catchfly. If you have seasonally wet soils like we do here, plant cardinal flower. It's just as beautiful, hummingbirds love it, and it can thrive in your soils and spread. Okay, right plant, right site equals great happiness.